Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain how to configure and use the journals in Odo 13. To get started journals in Odo, select the accounting application, go to configuration menu. Under configuration menu, you can see the journals menu. When clicking on journals, you will see a list view of all journals. From here, you can create, edit, delete your journal as per your needs. To create a new journal, just click on the create button, you will get a view. This is a journal creation page. Before creating a journal, I want to explain what is actually a journal. A journal is a record of all transactions of a company in order by date. That is, all accounting journals are recorded through journal entries that show account names, amounts and whether those accounts are recorded in debit or credit side of accounts. While creating a journal, you will need a journal name, type, etc. Basically in Odo, there is five types of journals are there. That is, first one is sales. Sales journal used to post, send customer invoices and purchase is used for post received vendor bills. The third one is cash. Cash is used for track daily cash transactions as well as received customer payments. In the case of bank, when we select the bank, It will show a new additional tab that named bank account. From here you can add bank account and the name of the bank and also the bank feeds. Bank feeds actually is this is how you define the way in which you will import your bank statements for reconciliation. There is three types of bank feeds are there, undefined yet, import and automated bank synchronization. The next type is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous type is used for miscellaneous entries like payroll or all of your corrections that is this journal is used for that is anything doesn't fit into the above journal types so we can choose miscellaneous journal any type of journals so let's create a new journal named as test journals Here I am going to select type as sales. Then you can see under journal entry staff there is number of fields are there. First one is short code. Next, next number. Then credit note next number. Then the default debit and credit account. The short norm is actually a easily, easily identify a journal and track the journal entries and every item that are posted to it. The next number is used for the next sequence number for the next invoice and the credit notes next number is used for the next sequence number for the credit note and the default debit account and credit account is is listed on the debit side of your journal entries and credit side of the journal entries the next tab is advanced settings tab each journal type has different options that you can configure in the advanced settings tab here 
there is different options are there first one is payment reference the payment reference has two options communication type and communication standard communication type means here you can set default communication type that will appear on the customer invoice and it is used to refer a particular invoices basically three types of communication types are there and the communication standard is used for the models for communication type defaultly we used odo there is here two types of communication standards the next one is posting uh, if we want to use this journal for import or export then you can enable this option next is email your configuration builds you can configure your email server for this journals just click on the configure email server and the control options control access option is used for the name referred as is this user for controlling this journal that means here we choose account types allowed accounts allowed and log posted entries with hash account types allowed means when you select account allowed account types then it then this account used only for these account types and the account allowed means this journal is used only for these accounts then the log posted entries with hash if we enable this option accounting entries or invoice receives a hash as soon as it is post and cannot be modified anymore so here i am going to provide short code for the test journal and just save the journal is created this is actually how we configure a journal then we can let's have a look how to use journals in odo 30 just go to accounting tab then select the journal entries we from here we can create journal entries for this journal that is we can create a journal entry with by by using this journal let's create a journal provide a reference for this journal then choose our journal from here that is test journal and you can enter some example accounts and its debit and credit side of the accounts here i'm going to choose a cash account with uh, uh, 50,000 debit value and uh, the credit side filled with the creditors account that automatically balanced so we can just save and post this journal by using this journal we can create we will create a journal entry the other case 
this journal type is all we know that the sale so in the customer invoices just create the journals with test journal so we can choose this journal in the invoice form also so this is how we create and configure the journals in auto 13 and the use of journals in auto 13 thank you if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.